The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Well, hi, everybody. That's the beginning of Psalm 27 from the Bible. And it talks about being afraid. Do you ever get afraid? Do you ever get scared of things? Sometimes people are scared of the dark, and so they have a nightlight. You see, my granddaughters don't like to sleep in a really, really dark room. And they're coming to stay with us for a couple of days this week. So I bought them a nightlight. Now it's kind of hard to see when it's on, but if I show it to you up close, you can see that it's a Peppa Pig nightlight with a rainbow over her head. Now, a rainbow is something that we've studied before, right? Do you remember the story of Noah and his ark and the promise that God made? Basically, it was telling Noah not to be afraid anymore. And the Bible, this Psalm 27, it tells us that God is our light and we don't have to be afraid with God in our world, in our lives, in our heart. What are some other things we could be afraid of? You're right, storms, yeah. Storms can be scary, especially when the rain is coming down and you have thunder and lightning as well. Do you know my very most favorite movie is called The Sound of Music. And in The Sound of Music, there's this whole big family of kids. Now, they don't have a mom, so they have what's called a governess who comes to live in their big, big house and look after them. And when she first gets there, they aren't really sure whether they like her or whether they want her or whether they need her. But one night, a big storm comes and there's thunder and lightning and all the kids, one after another, come into the governess's room and they jump on her bed because they don't want to be alone in a storm. Well, neither do we, right? And sometimes there are storms, figurative storms in our lives when things aren't going really well and we might be upset or afraid of all sorts of different things. That's when we need to remember our light. Well, a nightlight is okay, but even more important, we have to remember that God is our light and Jesus is our light. And if we believe in them, we'll be okay. We know that we have somebody with us who's going to look after us. Now, the other part of Psalm 27, down near the end, goes on a little bit more. And it says, wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. Well, what does waiting for the Lord mean? Hmm. I think it means we have to have patience. Remember that thing I don't like? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We have to have patience. I think waiting for the Lord means hoping and maybe trusting. You see, that's a really important thing to remember is that God's in charge. He provides the light in our life. And when we're waiting for him, we have to trust that he knows what's right for us. And not only does he know what's right for us and what's best for us, but he knows when is the right time to give us the things we think we want or need. Yeah, that patience thing is tough, but with God as our light to direct us and to live inside our hearts, we can not only not be afraid, but we can wait and be sure and trust in our hearts that what God wants for us is exactly what's happening. And if we're afraid during that time, we just rely on God. We rely on Jesus' word, all of his teachings, the Ten Commandments that we've studied, the Beatitudes, how to be better people. Yeah, I think it's pretty good as we get closer and closer to Easter to remember that Jesus is our light. God is our light. They fill our hearts with light and with love, and we don't need to be afraid. That's a pretty good message for today. Have a great week, everybody. Bye-bye.